Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we're looking at the Marvel Legends Valkyrie figure. Of course, we got one not too long ago in that two-pack with Hulk, but that one left a little bit to be desired, and this one makes up for it. I'm really happy with this figure. She stands about seven and a quarter, seven and a half inches tall, depending on where you're looking at the very top of her hair. You might be able to squeeze seven and a half out of it. Uh, that makes her about 18 centimeters, 18 and a half. Definitely has the size she should have, and a much cooler look, I think, and a much better figure. We have the belt on there with the painted uh, studs, which looks really good. They painted and sculpted the little plates on her boobages and on her abdomen. The neck collar thingy is painted and sculpted. The ties in her hair are painted and sculpted. The only thing that's not sculpted, though they're painted pretty well, are the armbands up there and down there, and they still look pretty good. I had to point out though, biceps are still on the wrong side of the figure. Luckily, they are the same on both sides, so we should be able to heat those up and swap them out, and it should be much better. Uh, the legs are all still standard. This is basically the uh, She-Hulk figure again, for the most part. Although, uh, just kind of like Thundra, the uh, short arms aren't as obvious as they were on She-Hulk, so that's a good thing. As far as the head sculpt goes, I'm pretty pleased with it. I wish her left eye was looking in the same direction as her right eye, but otherwise it looks pretty good. There's nice shading in the hair. The hair is sculpted really well. Uh, they're soft enough that you can tuck them behind the body if you need to, so you can put her in at least a little bit of a variety of poses. Uh, bendable would have been better, I guess, but that's okay. I didn't really expect that. Uh, and everything looks pretty good. I'm really pleased with this figure. I do wish they sculpted this stuff, but that would have required new parts, and we already got some on this figure, so let's not ask for too much, I think. Uh, she does come with a sword, which is nice. It has a little eagle or falcon or whatever you want to call that on there, so that looks good. And it's, a, it's just a pretty nice looking figure, gripping hands on both sides. The head is just on a ball peg though, so limited articulation up and down, full rotation. Full bi uh, bicep, full shoulder ball hinge, so that'll give you all the posability you need. Bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, only gives you a little bit less than 90 degrees. You might be able to get a little more out of it. We do get another swivel there though. And then we have a wrist swivel and a hinge. Both hands are meant for holding the sword, so that's good. Diaphragm joint works pretty well. Hips are still really vertical, wide jointed hips, but since they're all black, no paint or anything, it's not too big of a deal to spin them around and make them work, so I'm okay with it for this figure especially. Double jointed knees work really well. Ankle hinge goes really far forward all the way back, and we have an ankle rocker. So this figure's pretty darn good. It's definitely one of the better ones of the bunch, and I'm really pleased with it. Some people say she's too skinny. I don't think so. I think she looks just the way she should. I'm really happy with it. So stick around here at the end for some photos of the figure in action, and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. In the meantime, keep collecting.